Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving into a new series on the channel, and I'm very excited. Um, I just finished reacting to Sasuke Tamiano, which means I have freed up a couple days in my weekly schedule. Um, and yeah, there's lots of series that I want to dive into, and I... I looked through my watch list and I started weighing the options and I was like, okay, let let me see what has, how many episodes do these series have? How long are the episodes? And then this series came along and I'm like, okay, I remember reacting to, I don't know if I reacted to a trailer, but I reacted to a music video from this um, series. And just, I remember being captivated. I'm like, oh, I need to watch this. And in my watch list, I have all kinds of various notes next to a lot of the series that I've put on there. And next to this one, I just said, vampires i'm like okay well that 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 is all i needed to know so we're gonna dive into the series kissable lips it is a relatively short series i think it's only eight episodes and it's like typical korean bl series where the episodes are like 10 15 minutes long so it really plays well as a movie if you watch it all in one swoop but episodically it's relatively short so i'm gonna look at the first episode maybe the second episode too who knows and i don't know what the copyright editing protocols are for this series on youtube so if for whatever reason reactions aren't allowed on youtube then i'll just put the link to my full reaction which will be over on patreon for free like all my other reactions are and i'll just have like a truncated edited down version here on youtube but if i can get away with post the reaction on YouTube, then I'll post the reaction on YouTube. We'll just have to wait and see. But we're gonna dive in and just see why the lips are so damn kissable. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, pretty exciting. Oh. Vampire is a human being who is a human being who is a human being. When he is a human being, 파란색으로 눈동자가 변한다. 응. Hello. 뱀파이어는 금기를 어기면 10년 동안 서서히 소멸되는데 같은 뱀파이어를 죽일 경우 인간을 죽이는 경우가 금기사항이다. 순혈 인간은 한 세기에 한 명씩 태어나는데 순혈 인간의 피를 본 뱀파이어는 반드시 a pure blood human? Does that mean that most of us are around here like half breed humans and vampires or humans and something else? Oh, Lord, that man is handsome. Like, I, I understand the idea, well, maybe. I was say, I understand the idea of what constitutes a pure blood, but maybe I don't. Um, so maybe pure blood is in the sense like they're purely human. Maybe it's a pure of heart thing that radiates through their blood, or maybe it's just that they're purely human, and the rest of the humans in the series are half breeds or like mud bloods or whatever, like in Harry Potter or something. I don't know if that would make them human. No, mud blood, mixed blood. Muggles are humans. We're focused on this world right now. Mm, Lord, that man is handsome. Do I can see you. Mm. 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 죽어가고 있는 뱀파이어다. 그럼에도 인간이 되고 싶은 소멸되어가는 뱀파이어. Okay, so we can't see you on film. Okay. Do you have a reflection too? Breaking those vampire stereotypes. I'm here for it. Him in his little bumblebee shirt. Mm. 
핸드폰 흘리지 말고 잘 챙기라고 했지? 아 몰랐지 장난 아니야 어디 가면 어디 간다고 무슨 일 있으면 무슨 일 있다고 연락하고 오케이 땡큐 대리 나좀 내버려 두면 안 돼? Or big brother, I don't know, you look like you're five years, maybe ten years older than me. Thank you, daddy, in your skinny jeans. I see. You can, you, you can get up now. Mm. Lord. Actually, no, let me just stay down here for a minute. Get a sit behind me anytime he wants. Mm. Oh, sorry, I got my blood all over you. Okay, I'm glad they at least made it a believable, like, cut. Heaven knows I've seen some movies or series where they overdo it and he fell on the stairs and he would have this huge gaping gash through his hand and be like, girl, you, know, you didn't do all that. あるんだうむん、アンマッソンが勝つんごした。ゆずれずと、マチャンガジア。ビピョンガは、マンンジェスルガドランテンクチャンバダチュマン。サイジョクパンスベソポソナンクロンパギョクチョギンサジンデルイ
I love this sort of loose white sweater over this oh, high-waisted pant shirt combo. It's, oh, it's cute. <laughs> 아멘. 우리 자매님 점심 꼭 챙겨 드세요. 네, 네. 들어가세요. 왜또 왔어? 아유, 찾아온다니까. 아유, I love this sleeve moment happening. 할말 있어서. 뭔데 이렇게 분위기 잡고 그래? 아니. 그냥 오늘이구나. 도연이 길. 오늘 도연이 짐 정리했어. 괜찮아? 10년이나 지났어. 가끔 생각나긴 해도. 그래서 나 이제 얼마 안 남았다고. 뱀파이어가 인간을 죽이면 서서히 소멸된다는 거. 네가 해준 얘기잖아. 증상이 나타난 건 9년 전부터였어. 겉으로는 티가 안 났을 뿐이지. 근데 오늘 방법을 찾은 것 같아. 일단. 널 사랑하게 만들어야 돼. Of course. Can never be so. Can never just be the easiest just drink in the blood. 피의 증가가 발휘된다고. 뱀파이어가 인간의 피를 다 빨아서 죽게 될 경우 소멸의 길을 걷지만 순혈 인간의 피를 마신 뱀파이어는 인간이 될수 있다. 가능성. Interesting lore. 그냥 I don't think it's going to take much convincing to get this guy to be in love with him like he's already crushing. So we're half the work's already done. You just got to woo and romance him a little bit. Cuz something tells me sweet boy ain't never been in love or been in a relationship in his entire life. So all it would take is just a little Okay. Yeah, we're we going to jump into episode two. All it would take is just a little flirty eye and a little, hey, how you doing? Then he, he'll just come rolling in. He is adorable and he has great hair. It is the sideburns and this, the. He's got fantastic hair. And of course, beautiful face. I mean, if you want to, I guess. I won't say no. Hello. 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 You know, I know. I saw you in the Ah, yes. I remember it's not every day somebody uh, bleeds on me, you know. Lord, the cicadas in the background are going haywire. His pants are fitting nicely, but how are you doing? Can we go together? Yes? I think we can take a look at each other. No. No. He said, you want to film me? My body's amazing and I'm trying to make you fall in love. You see this ass in these pants? Mm -hmm. Come feel me. Try not to fall in love.
It's very nice, yes. Can you stop looking at me like this, sir? Yes, he is. Well, girl, just don't drink too hard. Girl, the thirst is real. Traumatized a little bit by. I guess we killed our lover by accident. Maybe we shouldn't have been feeding off of our lover. It sounds like regardless of your feeding off, if you might have just lost control. Adorable. <laughs> Love him. I'm Chimiyeon. I'm a Girl, I like ball games too. Girl, I just said I can play, I just said I like them. Oh, you better back it up on me now, vampire boy. Hey, come on now. Now why you didn't take this overshirt off before you started playing basketball, I don't know. The last thing I want to do is get my nice dress shirt all sweaty. Okay, okay. It was, it was just a basketball game, but okay, let's hug it out. <laughs> I love them. I love them together. They're adorable. Smile is adorable. Does it say dad? They didn't caption it, so I don't know. <clears throat> Big brother. We are mother. Ah, can't you know? Brother. I'm working on an assignment. So you're telling me this is the perfect place to commit murder, then? 
가끔 여기 놀러와도 되죠 나야 고맙지 시간도 별로 없는데 형 영상 다 찍고 여기서 좀 놀다 갈래요 그래도 돼요? 저는 최민현입니다 But also maybe just text your brother and tell him that you're working on an assignment so he doesn't call the police or something saying his brother's missing. <laughs> I'm Chemin. Well, girl, we're here to edit the video. Again, girl, it would have been a simple 30 second text. I'm working on an assignment at a classmate's. Also, you, you didn't think to call the police or something? You just stroll up into school in the middle of the night? Also, they don't lock their schools at night? I mean, I guess it's college campus, but still. So you, 사실 부모님이 일찍 돌아가셨거든요. So you're almost kidnapped. Your brother is protected for a reason. 형이 제 부모님이나 다름 없었어. So he's trying to contact you because you were almost kidnapped as a kid and he's anxious. This is why your brother got complexes, baby. We could have avoided a lot of heartache if you just sent a text saying I'm okay. I'm staying at my friends. 뭐 이해는 되는데. 모르겠어요. 저도 그냥 평범하게 살고 싶어요. And I get that, baby. I totally get that. But that this is not the way to get your brother not to hover over you. This is the way to make your brother more neurotic. 나도 그 기분 알아. All you have to do is say, hey, there's some fine-ass vampire dick trying to get in my pants right now, so I'll, I'll be home later. Pinterest cheeks. <laughs> oh, okay, we're going for the laptop. I'm like, did you just pretend to fall very badly? Okay. Laptop makes more sense. Ooh, that is a terrible place to end the episode. Okay, well that is a terrible place to end the episode, but I feel like this is common with a lot of the, especially some of the earlier Korean series I reacted to on the channel back in the early days when I first started to react to BL series. The episodes were so short, so they they would just end up like in these pivotal points. I was like, no, don't end it yet. I guess I gotta watch one more episode. And that's I could very easily, because it's, very very short so I could very easily binge through this entire series in one sitting because again I feel like it's one of those that's meant to be watched more like a movie than it is like a serial um, um, serial watching so yeah. it's fun it's cute it's light it's it's nothing serious it's like yes I would love to see 
one of these BL series tackle like some supernatural stuff like vampires and whatnot and have a little bit more of a serious tone be a little bit more fleshed out but obviously since it's one of the Korean series we don't have the time to flesh out all of this detail and have all of these extra scenes that we just we just cut straight to the point he, he he's out here about to die because he accidentally killed who I'm assuming was his boyfriend or his lover um it may not have been, but there seemed to be some emotional connection to this person. And according to the vampire lore in this universe, if a vampire kills a human or another one of their kind, so I think another vampire as well, um, then they will eventually die. Um, and it'll be a long, slow process and they will eventually fade away into nothingness. Um, apparently it's a very long process because he said that um, the first signs came up when, you know, nine years ago. And, you know, here we are 10 years later, and he, well, he's still alive, so I, I know diseases to take humans out much quicker than whatever's taking him out as a vampire. So, you know, vampire lore in this world is very, very convenient. Give, give you a lot of time to reflect on life or to find a solution, because apparently a solution, you, you can just become human again if you find a pure-blooded human. Again, what constitutes humans being pure-blooded? I don't know. I don't know that we're going to get an answer to that. It's not really important. I'm just curious um, but yeah they are freaking adorable um, Seal Bitten why I know that name for a reason I want to say he was in a K-pop band that I've reacted to hold on Seal Bitten Or did I just react to him on his own? Did I not react to a band? Mm -hmm. Nope, doesn't look like he was part of a band once like he's just a solo artist. Okay, so maybe he sang the song that I reacted to from the series. Yes, because he was precious and adorable in the, the music video. I remember he was wearing the stripe. So he's so precious. Um, but yes, um... Uh, Min Hyun, so precious, so precious. You just you can't help but want to hug him. You, no, yes, you can't help but want to hug him and just like, pinch his cheeks because he just his eyes are so adorable. Especially when the sun is like hitting him in the eyes and you get to see that really brown, pretty brown color of his eyes and his smile and there's just he just has this youthful, innocent energy about him. Like I was saying, there mid episode, like baby, you don't even have to hypnotize him you don't have to literally all you have to do because at this point he's got such a crush on you the way he kept looking back at him in the middle of the classroom and i don't know if that's a common occurrence or if that's just because you know they had that little moment there on the staircase when he tripped and fell and then spent seven hours on the ground waiting to get up when he could have just oh shit okay let me get up before you know my impulse would be like okay let me get up show everyone i'm all right so you know no, hopefully no one will have noticed not let me just lay here and linger on the floor so everybody walking by will see this random person just laying on the floor but that's just me um so maybe it was just because of that moment they had there when their eyes locked and he bled all over him or maybe it's a crush that he's had i mean from what he was saying there, you know, you're the most handsome one in the, the whole campus. And he's like, oh, you know me? How come I've never known you? It seems as though this crush may have been brewing for some time. Um, and, you know, not that it was like a serious, like, oh, my God, I'm in love with this man. You know, just kind of admiring him from a distance. I'm like, oh, that boy is so cute. He's so handsome. Mm, makes my heart go pitter patter. I know, you know, innocent, innocent sort of puppy love kind of stuff. Um, but, yeah, he already had those that attraction to him so it wouldn't take much for someone like that because again he seems just the energy the youthful energy he gives off seems like the type who hasn't had much experience in relationships or hasn't been in a serious relationship or you know done an abundance of dating this that and the other so if you if you guys think back to like being young and naive or having that very first crush and having that crush or that person you're attracted to show you some sort of positive attention you you know that feeling where it's like oh my gosh 
oh my gosh, it's like a dream and you're romanticizing everything. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this boy actually likes me and you are ready to just fall on bended knee and do just whatever it takes to, to, to get, keep that boy's attention. I feel like that is exactly what would happen with Sweet Boy here. I feel like um, Hyun could just look at him, say one nice thing like, you know, you look really handsome tonight. And just keep staring him in the eye. And Sweet Boy would just be like, oh. and he would just, done, done. Fall in love, suck the blood out of his lips, there you go, you're human again. I think it's very easy romancing. It's, it's not going to be a complicated, like a Beauty and the Beast or, you know, some other kind of romance story where it's like, okay, we have to work really hard to win this person over. No, this person's already halfway there. You you, you just got to say the right word and look at him the right way and he, he'll come falling over at you. Um, I mean, hell, that's practically where we left left the episode. Um, he, he was just looking at him just right and he's like, hey, please stop looking at me. Um... I'm confused. He's like, confused by what? He's like, I'm confused by what you're, the way you're looking at me, what that means. And then he's like, hmm, well, let me show you what it means. And then he puts on his hypnotizing eyes. And again, I'm like, baby, you don't have to do that. He's already here for it. You don't have to hypnotize him. Maybe he's trying to hypnotize him so that when he sinks his teeth in, homeboy doesn't start screaming and running like, oh my God, this motherfucker bit me. Um, maybe that might be what's happening. But like, if it's just trying to hypnotize him so that he'll, you know, let you get close, maybe you ain't got to do that. He, you're practically already inside at this point. Um, it's the only thing where I'm like, baby, 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 maybe we could do something a little different is with Juno and his brother. Or I'm like, baby, you already know that this man has is very protective, to say the least. He's very protective of you. And I can understand that, you know, having that sort of overbearing presence can be exhausting. It can be challenging and sometimes you just want to escape. You don't you don't want to be under your brother's stump. I get it, baby. I get it. But you just reveal to, you know, Hyun that when you were younger, you were kidnapped or you were almost kidnapped. And, you know, your parents died when you were younger. So your older brother is literally all you have and you are all that he has. So he is very, very protective and neurotic. And yes, it is overbearing and it is annoying, but it is coming from a place of love. And he is just trying to protect you and make sure that you stay alive and healthy because you were all that each other have at this point. And since you were almost kidnapped once already, he, he's, he's got trauma. You may not remember the incident, but he got trauma about this time that you were almost kidnapped. So now he's thinking that around every corner, somebody's trying to kidnap you, which, you know, you do kind of have a vampire trying to seduce you and steal your blood, potentially going to kill you like he killed his boyfriend in the past. So, you know, Big Brother might not be so crazy. Um, but yeah, the only thing I would change is just send him a text that's... That's one way we could have avoided all manner of issues and problems. Yes, even if we send him a text and Big Brother would probably be like, who, who are you with? Where are you? Blah, blah, blah. He still probably would have been a little bit antsy and like, you know, prying into things. But at least he would know that you were alive and safe and have some semblance of something to keep him calm a little bit but you just going radio silent and the fact that he can't track you he can't find your location you're you... girl you were just asking for trouble you're just asking for it so a simple text hey i'm working on a project with a classmate i'll be home whenever or hey i'm spending the night at a classmate's I'll be home in the morning. You're like, whatever. You're 21 years old. Or however old you said you were. Like, you're, you're an adult. I'm sure your brother would be able to handle you having a sleepover. If it, if it came to that. Like, you could have saved yourself a lot of heartache. But other than that, super duper cute. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where this goes. So I may or may not watch another episode or two today maybe we'll see you'll just have to wait and see 
if in next week's reaction I'm wearing the same outfit, then you know what happened. Yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah.